Yes, Steve, we're talking about National Night Out. Tomorrow here in Wake County, there is going to be about 30 different events that bring together law enforcement and the community, and many community members are hoping the impact from tomorrow extend into the future. Remember back in the day, it took a village? There's no village anymore. And dialogue. officers, yeah, officers were a big part of that village for me. Four years ago, preschool teacher Brenda Schneider saw a need to mend relationships between police and kids. I mean, I've had little kids that we've gone into neighborhoods say not nice things to the officers that come to hang out with them. So she started a nonprofit, Police at Play, with the goal of exposing young kids to police off duty. And I think building the relationships with the kids first is huge. From hosting Raleigh police officers at recess, it snowballed into handing out popsicles and playing pickup games of sports. She says without community events like hers and National Night Out, she thinks crime will increase. Data from the past year does show an increase in assaults, car thefts, and burglaries in Raleigh. And statewide, this violence impacting youth more and more, with gun violence now the leading cause of death for kids. Lieutenant Philip Sutton is on the team in Wake County seeking to tackle this by building trusted relationships with the community. We want people to know that we're human beings. In addition to National Night Out, his team hosts classes and events throughout the year to continue to build on those relationships. Sutton says National Night Out is a way for people to get to know first responders along with their neighbors. This is a perfect chance for you to meet them and to know that Hey, you care about your community, you care about the safety, and you want to work with us, not against us. Snyder says she'll be going to multiple events tomorrow, spreading the work she does with her preschoolers to the community. There's nobody should be afraid to approach an officer. An officer should not be afraid to do their job. And those events are taking place mostly between 5 and 7 tomorrow. But to check on the exact locations and times, head to the Raleigh Police Department's Facebook page or the link on ABC11.com. Live in Raleigh, Samantha Coomer, ABC11 Eyewitness News.